Well, today we're going to look at another of the 14 inch Mego action figures uh, from in the UK, they're in BM stores. Uh, so I went back after doing the Superman recording uh, to get a Batman, and despite the fact there was like 12 the day before, there was none left. Just a shed load of Wonder Woman, shed load of Aquaman, uh, and a Joker. So I picked up Joker, so it's quite a nice looking one. It'll be interesting to see what the clothing's like on this one. Yeah, so I don't know whether, because of the Snyder Cut being released last week, that everyone went and saw Batman and wanted to buy it. Um, but I should keep an eye out because I want to try and get Batman. Um, I might try and get a few of these um, figures. But uh, yeah, so we're going to have a look at the Joker. Um, so let's just move soups out of the way. And let's have a look. So he looks really nicely painted this one no slop by the look of it it's sort of classic 70s looking joker um, 60s and 70s so his costume is uh, printed sort of detail um got different hands that's interesting he hasn't got the closed fists uh so again very plain box uh, dc official limited action figure and um, you get some Nice drawing, I don't know who the artist is. Um, and then on the back, so this one's got Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Um, so hopefully I can pick up a Batman, and then you've got the the very same. The boxes are a bit, a bit sort of bland, but they do the job. Um, so what I'm going to do is open this up, and then we'll have a look. Right, you come to meet the Joker. Oh, yeah, come on then. Come on. Bup, 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 bup. Well, yeah. Okay, so my cat is helping me review the Joker. What do you think of him? Doesn't care. So, out of the box, first impressions. The paint job is much, much nicer than Superman. There's a lot less slop. So perhaps I was just unlucky. You're right. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> perhaps I was just unlucky with the. Uh, with soups being attacked. So what are you doing? Come and sit on my lap. Come on. Just gonna sit on my lap. Um yeah, so it's really neatly done. Good sculpt on the face. It's got that mad joker look to him. Um so you've got printed on detail on the waistcoat. Um but you've also got actual detail so you've got the uh the ribbon um and then the jacket looks very nice. Yes, and take part. So this is folded up, so let's get that out. <coughs> Pardon me. So on the whole, I really like this look. Tail, <laughs> thanks cat. Tail coat, it does look lined as well, so they've put a lot of effort. Um, oh, he's got uh, stirrups as well, and what they do look like, old action man boots, don't they? But. Uh, white hands are they soft no they're solid hands but they're really nicely sculpted uh, doesn't feel like as much movement as the fists which is quite strange yeah definitely not as much movement but they're nice hands i like them oh i've got to say nice far too much so i'll try and use other words hello what a nice pussycat um, yeah, so, interesting, is he, yeah, he's white, his whole body is white. I wonder why they've done that. Although I suppose, you know, <laughs> if you wanted to do a Joker in a bathing costume uh, figure. So what I'm going to do is take the clothes off the figure, have a look at them, have a look at the figure, and then we'll uh, see what he looks like. Okay, so, the body is the same... Uh, body of Superman but cast in white plastic weirdly in this color plastic it reminds me of the old fight and furious bodies so just as jointed which is really nice like I say the hands are different really well sculpted the neck looks quite long but it's actually the same as the Superman so I don't know whether it's uh, just the uh, cape making it look less sort of long it does 
naked he does look quite long um the neck i mean the purple on the outfit has already started to stain the arms so that might be something to look out for in the future um made in china migo core uh, let's have a look at the clothes the clothes are astonishingly well done so you get little sort of ankle boots a bit rough around the edges but uh, very soft plastic remind me of the old action man boots but they're nice i thought he wore spats in the comic i don't know perhaps i'm wrong uh, you get a pair of very nicely screen printed trousers so they're stripy um, incredibly well made well done migo on these uh, they got uh, stirrup hooks at the bottom and then fasten up on the back using velcro so nice trousers then you get a waistcoat and shirt um, and this is just sort of screen printed detail which is okay I, I don't mind that it keeps the cost down it would have been nice to have collars on there because I think that would have made the neck look less sort of tall and thin um, but again very nicely done and then the standout is the jacket a separate piece jacket flower in the buttonhole presumably spray and acid um, lined right up to the sleeves all the tails are lined it's a well thought out bit of kit two screen printed buttons very well done that really impressive quality and then the shirt weirdly the shirt at the ends is white but the shirt he's wearing is yellow so i'm not sh quite sure about that um, unless that's meant to be trim on the jacket but i don't think so um, but let's get him redressed and then we'll have some final thoughts well, I have to say I'm seriously impressed with these uh, large-scale 14-inch Migos. The build quality is superb. The sculpts are great. The articulation is great. The outfits are great. Um, they deserve to be huge successes. I, I don't think they probably will be because they are quite large. I'm not sure why they went with 14-inch rather than 12-inch. But uh, for what you get for the money... Hello. What do you think? It's ignoring me. Uh, for what you get for the money is just amazing value. I'm going to certainly try and get some more of these um, if I see them in B&M and I haven't sold out. Um, and then uh, I hope the Star Trek ones appear because I would like them. But yeah, if you do see them, worth grabbing. Seriously good quality. My only one carry up would be the waist joint, which is very, very thin, but it's not like you're going to play with them. Um, if kids are playing with it, it'd be interesting to see how quickly those uh, waist joints break. Will we see a lot of Batman and Superman figures with broken waists duct taped up at boot sales next year? Possibly. Um, but yeah, on the whole, great figure. Well worth getting. I'm glad I picked up the Joker. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these, uh, please like and subscribe and let me know. And if you've bought any or you've got any of the... Uh, the sort of rarer ones that were released in America, like Target exclusives. Uh, I'd love to see pictures of them, but uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. So, for me and Maggie, no, I'm not going to say goodbye. So, <laughs> there's the Joker obscured by a cat's ass. But uh, thanks again, I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.